and more of it is heading our way. We're in the 50s and low 60s right now in the upstate, northeast Georgia and western North Carolina, mostly 50s. And as we go through the evening, temperatures remain steady, mid 50s in the upstate with low 50s in the mountains. We are expecting a break from the rain over the next couple of days, and we'll take a look at that coming up in our seven day forecast. Thank you, Malachi. A graduate of St. Joseph's Catholic School in Greenville is calling on the school to take action against a teacher. Michael Casabon alleges that that teacher enabled a priest to sexually abuse him. 7 News anchor Diane Lee talked with Casabon today that the school as well gave her some comments. Let's talk to her now. Here's Diane Lee. Yeah, well, Gordon and Amy, back in 2013, Casabon came forward about the abuse that he says started in the late 90s when he was a teenager. And while he never filed criminal charges, the Diocese of Charleston and the Vatican found enough evidence to defrock the priest. Now, years later, Casabon has learned the teacher who introduced them has been supporting that priest. It was 1996 when Michael Casabon says a teacher who still works at St. Joseph's started driving him from Greenville to Greenwood to meet up with a priest named Hayden Vaverick. The teacher helped encourage uh, a relationship with uh, the priest, and that got to the point where he was driving me to the rectory. Um, for these overnight stays in which um, I had a guest room in the rectory, but then the priest would come get me from his guest room and bring me into his room. To be clear, Casabon is not alleging that the teacher, whose name we're not identifying because he's not been charged, saw the actual abuse. In a statement from the school headmaster to parents this week, Keith Kaiser wrote, quote, Casabon's only accusation against the teacher first made in November of 2017 was that he should have been aware of Vaverick's misconduct, a point he specifically denied in both 2013 and 2015 when he asserted the teacher could not have been aware of Vaverick's behavior. Casabon told 7 News what changed was that in 2017 he discovered the teacher was a board member on the former priest's nonprofit. I think any normal person, if they realized that their student had been abused by a priest, would have gone ballistic. And instead, he is raising money for him. And then that gave me a whole new perspective on the whole situation. St. Joseph says the teacher is no longer on that nonprofit board as of December, according to the headmaster's directive. The school stands behind the teacher, but in a letter home to parents, Kaiser also wrote, quote, I am praying for healing for our graduate whom I've always respected and considered a friend. No one should have to suffer what he has suffered, most especially within the church. It breaks my heart that this hurts the community of St. Joseph's and the Catholic community in the upstate. But it's necessary to speak the truth because there are people out there who are suffering and who, who, who don't have the resources around them to bring that suffering to light. Casabon Gordon, was, he was very emotional about this, um, but very, very truthful in his words in that he didn't want this to go public. He gave the school a chance almost a year ago to try to rectify the situation. He only came public because he felt not enough was being done. And he just doesn't want this type of thing to happen again. And also, I should note that since he has come forward, he's actually been um, contacted by several alumni who also say that they suffered abuse. Oh, wow. He has encouraged them to also report it. R reporting, and that's interesting you say that, because he never went to police with this? Right. The reason why, and, and this is a man who admits he, he, he cared for these people, and he felt that these people cared for him, mm -hmm. this priest, who he also alleged abused him. Um, he isn't out to cause harm. He just doesn't want this to happen again. Mm -hmm. He feels that by this priest no longer being a priest, that that has been, you know, that he has... Uh, done what he had wanted to do. He doesn't want this priest to n end up getting hurt in jail, as he feel might happen. Interesting point. All right.